When we talk about vaginal estrogen being important to prevent urinary tract infections, numbers matter here. So let me explain. When you are in menopause, if I draw your blood, your estrogen levels are less than five. That's basically zero because the lab doesn't go to zero. So if you're in menopause and you're not on any hormones and we draw your blood, your estrogen levels are less than five. When you use vaginal estrogen or vaginal DHEA and I continue to draw your blood, your levels stay at less than five, undetectable, because the hormone does not go through your whole bloodstream, it does not stay elevated for any significant period of time, and it stays low. However, it does help the tissue get healthy and strong, it acidifies the tissue, it helps to uh, keep a healthy microbiome, and it prevents urinary tract infections. Because your blood levels of estrogen stay less than five, this is why vaginal hormones, estrogen or DHEA, are safe for just about everyone because they don't go into your bloodstream. So they don't increase your estrogen levels. So if you've been told by a doctor you can't have estrogen or estrogen is dangerous for you, this type of estrogen is very different than a birth control pill. It's very different than whole body hormone therapy that we use for hot flashes and night sweats. The risks are different. It's like using a hydrocortisone cream that you get at the drugstore for a bug bite versus taking IV steroids in the hospital because you're very sick. So the numbers matter here. And when you understand your numbers, then many of your questions are gonna get answered. I have gallbladder problems. I can't take vaginal estrogen. They shouldn't be related. That is probably not true. I have a history of blood clots. I can't take vaginal estrogen. That is definitely not true. And actually a recent paper shows that it's definitely not true. There's no increased risk of more clots in somebody who has had a blood clot in the past. I have a history of breast cancer. I can't take estrogen. Again, not true. The one patient population where we will do videos on is those breast cancer patients who are on aromatase inhibitors, and there's likely reasons why they wanna have a good discussion with their care team. So again, think about your numbers. If my goal is to keep my estrogen less than five, which that may not be your goal, and that's for other videos for another day, but when you do vaginal estrogen to prevent urinary tract infections, to help with pain with sex, to help with dryness, it doesn't increase your whole body blood levels of estrogen. So it doesn't matter if you've had endometriosis. It doesn't matter if you're breastfeeding. It doesn't matter um, you know, anything that's going on in your whole body because it helps the local environment, not the whole body. So the numbers really matter here. I hope you learned from this and I'm sure there'll be a lot more questions.